have a package. What is this? Oh my. Ooh, guys. What do you think it is? Something for the bill? Let's open it up. So after my bit, my video called um, building a bathroom for my camper van, in that video I was looking at a refrigerator and it's one that I liked because of the low profile. Well guys, the next morning Bouge RV emailed me, Winnie, if you're watching, thank you Winnie, and they sent me this. So let's open it up and see what it is. this year already with this build the only two things that I really thought that I needed for the build that I didn't have before was an awning which Cascadia vehicle tents hooked me up with that so thank you and now I have a fridge guys this is the Bouge RV 12 volt 30 quart 28 liters fridge and we're gonna look at it from my bill. First impression out of the box is, I like that it has a handle on this side. And a handle on this side, so that'll be easy for me to pick it up. It reminds me of a very large cooler, so I knew I can handle those. And here's all the controls, which we'll go into. Jarvie. Now let's just see the inside. Ugh. Oh, okay. Um, I think this is going to be all the cords and the information. Two compartments. Oh my goodness. There is the information about this fridge. And there's a chart that it's telling you for setting the fridge at. Yeah, you don't want to have an accident and set it to freezer when it's for your fridge stuff because that would be bad your stuff would freeze Rouge rv has a lot of reviews online and they're all, a lot of them are real most of them are really good um i know a lot of other folks on the road that have this brand of a fridge they really like it so i'm just showing you on the sides these vents that need to be exposed now the truth will my measurements that I took from line online fit onto one of my slide out drawers. Let's just see if it's gonna fit onto here. It's a good thing I haven't built this build yet. This is the cutout that I made of one of the slide shelf drawers that I want to make. So this is not going to be a closed cabinet. The reason it's not going to be a closed cabinet is because I need to keep these um, vents uh, open and exposed so that the fridge can vent while it's running so the engine doesn't overheat. But let's just see if my measurements that I took off of the website were accurate and if it fits on this drawer. It does! Oh my god, it's going to work! <laughs> and I'll be able to have this fridge on a slide drawer. It's a really nice size. Oh my gosh, this is such a great day. Okay, here are the specs on this refrigerator. You, if you're a solar nerd or a lithium battery nerd or an off-grid nerd, 
this will all make sense to you. But 45 watts for a fridge I think is pretty good. I'm thinking that it's going to draw 80 to 87 watts off of my battery, but it's going to be cycling. So let's pull out the rest of the goodies and see what else Bouge sent with this fridge. Bouge RV. Bougie stuff for camping. So I'm going to open it and see what's inside of this box as well. This is the 120 volt connector. So these two pieces are if I want to plug the fridge into electricity. So it comes with a um, cigarette lighter attachment. It looks like they've given me two extra little feet in case it loses its little toes on the bottom. Let's have a look. Ow! Okay. Yeah, so in case it loses one of its toes, I can replace it. And then it comes with a manual. This is a cigarette lighter a port adapter. And I have one in the back of my Honda Element right there. So I'll be able to plug this in to right there when I'm driving my car and I'll be able to charge the fridge using this in that port when the car is driving. This is a fridge drawer <laughs> Oh my god. This is so awesome. It's the little things. It's the little things. Little fridge in my little happy corner here plugged in and let's just see what the instructions say for turning it on says to hold this down for three seconds and it automatically comes on to 62 Fahrenheit which must be the temperature inside of it right now. The button below it, this one is for setting the temperature to max or minimum. It's a little bit of a white noise but nothing too terrible. Um, okay yeah, Bouge RV, so excited. It does say that it may have been uh, uh, upside down in shipping, so to stand it upright for 12 hours before using it again. So that's what I'm gonna do. What a joy! Bouge RV. Well, I was so happy today to receive this refrigerator from Bouge RV. So again, Bouge RV, thank you. It's just, it's the little things inside of the little things that make all the difference and this is a total game changer for me. I have been doing the cooler life with camping and road tripping my whole life. I have never had a propane fridge or a 12 volt fridge. So this is gonna be fun. Since I know what the dimensions are for my entire build, there's no reason that I can't start building now, right? Okay, seriously guys, it's happening, it's coming. Next one, we're building. I promise. Okay. As always, everyone, thank you so much for coming here, supporting me, watching me, watching this, this build and uh, my awkwardness, and my lack of construction skills. But I hope that I inspire you. That's all that I want to do and entertain you. As always, so much love from Oregon. Oh, and here, let's give you a hug. Okay. Bye. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Bouge RV today. Go check them out. I'm going to leave a link down below.